sauces, you know, people, they feel like they miss their pasta, but the irony is really what they're missing is their sauce. We were just back in the veggie section. You could cook spaghetti squash, you could steam a bunch of different veggies. You throw a good uh, low sugar sauce on top of that, it's going to taste amazing. And then if you want to grate a little bit of Parmesan or something on top of it, that's fine. Fabulous. And it, it will be very, very tasty. It has three grams of sugar, so it's, it's not as heavy in sugar as some, but that is for one half of a cup. And, and so that's not very much. Right. You, somebody would eat at least a cup of right. sauce. And so you have to really look at those portions of what you're getting with, um, with what they call a portion. Um, high in salt, high in sugar. The sugar-free deal is maybe worth tackling. Um, it's another one of these, these items that it, the palatability is such that folks will have these kind of feeling like they're having a snack, having a treat and then they will tend to kind of spin out and have more of other bad stuff. So I, I kind of consistently see these as kind of a gateway drug for, for folks. And I, I would really prefer if somebody's going to have some sort of a treat, a dessert, like if you had a really good piece of like dark chocolate, you know, you've got like yeah. an 80 or 90% dark chocolate, uh, uh, or you make some sort of a dessert out of stuff like that, like just have good quality partition it, um, maybe only have your desserts out. Uh, that's another good option because if you have it at home, you're gonna, you know, you don't yeah. lay in bed thinking about like pork loin at night. It's the little Debbie snack cake or the Haagen-Dazs <laughs> oh, bars it, that wake you up and you wanna go eat that. Stuff. And so. I think that parents put these in kids, um, kids' lunches and also they go, oh, this is just a little bit, look at the size of this. This is just a little bit, I can eat this as a dessert. And what they're actually doing is, is for one of these little little pieces, it's 70 calories, and then you look at carbohydrates, it's 17 grams of carbohydrates, so here and you are, you're sugar. half, it's all sugar, every every single, and, and you're half your carbohydrates if you're insulin resistant right. or diabetic. And again, like even if you do the sugar-free stuff, a lot of people get an insulin response from the sugar-free just because of the palatability I think element. that's a good point. Yeah, so it, it's, uh, unfortunately there's not a, not a free lunch on that stuff. I wish that wasn't the case, but...